Hi, welcome to another Guns Contractors video. I'm on the stand at Bauma 2025 with iDig and I thought just run through some simple, easy tutorials for how to get the most out of your iDig system. So this one, we're gonna do a single slope. A Little bit limited with what I'm working with here in this little sandbox, but bear with me. The principles remain the same for you on site. So down here, bottom box, we've got the slope function. If you imagine currently we're working flat, we want to do a single slope. So bring it up, I'm gonna press single slope there. Now it's gonna ask me which direction I want the slope to be, whether it's away from the machine, towards the machine. I wanna do one towards, it's like what they call a positive slope. Now it asks me here in percentage what the slope is. I use an app called Slope on my phone and you can very easily put in your run and your rise to gain a percentage out of it. You can also work in a ratio, but it's a really, really good app, by the way, to have with iDig. So the free app called Slope, you can, um, you can get hold of it. And I'm gonna do, because of the sandbox I'm working in, uh, a one meter slope, one meter long, and I wanna come up 200 mil, so 20 centimeters. That is a slope percentage of 20.4%. So 20%, we can even do the 0.4 if you want. Now, what it now is asking me, it knows what the slope is here, as you can see in this direction. Here we're flat because I'm, I want it flat, but this direction I want to do my slope. It wants to know what height I want that slope at, you know, in, in real time where I'm at. So I'm going to move my bucket to a position in, uh, in the sandpit to where I want to pull this slope. I then can put my zero on. I could obviously offset that if I wanted to then go 300 mil down from this position or whatever, but in this instance, we'll just zero it. And now it knows the bucket is on grade. The clever bit is, as I move through the pull, this bucket will work up this slope and the LEDs and everything will tell me that I'm digging to grade, I would say, more than level, because obviously we're pulling a slope, right? So now let's watch how bad my driving is, because I'm. it's very difficult working with the material where you're, you're pulling very, very light material, but it's easy to go too deep. Need to come up even more. But here's my here's my uh, my slope. So not the best because of the stuff we're working with, but you can see how my bucket moves up that slope. And it doesn't matter if I reposition the bucket to even work so it's flat with the slope as it as it pulls that grade. You can do that and then pull your slope as you go. Obviously, I'm trying to present and drive an electric machine in a in a place with lots of people around. So it's a bit tricky, but you can see how it will keep that reference to that cutting edge no matter where I'm working it or how I'm pulling that grade at any position in the slope. So that's the key really. If we had a slightly less aggressive slope, um, the one that let's say a laser could work with, we could also do this with the laser in the same way that I had in my video where I say working with uh, lasers in a flat area, you can also do this with a slope. So let's say this slope continued, we would move our excavator back and we could then use the laser set at the same grade as the slope to pull the same slope continuous. That's really, really good when you're doing drainage, for example. So you can do really long lengths of drainage, working really, really accurate, saving material on shingle, saving time and effort, having somebody in the trench as well, which is great for safety. It's a really, really good feature. Um, and hopefully that's helped you a little bit. Easy, simple to use. Anyway, let's go to work.